Hello everyone, this is Monochrome here. I, I think this is the 15th take. Today's video is about uh, a script that me and my friend wrote. Um, kind of similar to a script called Notflix that was written by Bugs Writer, which is a pretty small code. <clears throat> it was around like five or six lines. The main code is like five or six lines. It's pretty simple. Uh, we took that. My, my friend, I'll show you that instead. Oh, this is a friend of mine. He made the script called Neaflex, which was basically a fork of Bugs Writer's Notflex. But instead of using 1337x torrent, he, my friend, uh, uses Nia dot Inc, which is an anime torrent website. So that's why it's Nia Neaflex. I'll show you the code for it, which is pretty simple. Let's go to the first commit. This is basically it and this in simple terms it takes the search query that you want like if you want to search some something that it takes that query and then uh, it curls the website HTML with the search query in, in place and whatever the output is it's an HTML right so uh, it then it uses then grep is used to get the first magnet link on that but the problem is that bugs writer wrote the wrote the script for watching movies and if you were to search for movies then it's understandable you don't really need to know multiple there is no multiple names for the same show right you just find if you want if you want to like search for spider-man you search for spider-man and you get spider-man but on anime, there are multiple episodes and some people uh, upload episode-wise and some people bundle them together into one single file. So it's a lot of complications and it won't work like you expect. Like if I go to the website that I want to search and I sort by highest seeders one and I search for Chainsaw Man as an example. <clears throat> The first thing I'm going to see if I set that as highest seeders first is episode 12. And let's say the search query, you don't really know. If you are using the terminal, you're not going to see this names. So let's say I give the search query as episode 12 as well. Episode 12. Now you don't get anything. So this was a problem that I wanted to solve. That's why I rewrote his version of Nyaflex completely to show you the name and then it selects the stuff accordingly. I'm going to show you my script. I think this font is slightly more easier to understand. Last time on the last video, I used Terminus, which looks horrible on video, but it looks good in real life. Uh, so I'm going to go with Nyako, this is Nyaflex, but I am thinking of changing the name to Nyako because that's the name of a cat in Chainsaw Man anime. I I thought that was funny, and you know it's a it's a reference. I like references. Anyway, <coughs> let me go down the script. This is basically the whole script in its entirety. It's pretty simple. Let me showcase that. Uh, God knows if it works properly. <laughs> the whole problem is that uh, the script uses PeerFlex. As you can see, PeerFlex. Uh, and PeerFlex is notor notorious for breaking on, on you at the, at, the, at the best moment, you know. I'm going to search for Chainsaw Man and see the list here. This is the titles that you saw on the, on the website. So I'm going to go to episode one. I want to watch episode one. And I give it a couple of seconds. <clears throat> My internet it is not that fast in this room. I'm going to select this. This is basically this L flag so that you can select mul if there is multiple files and you can select the file that you want. That takes care of the one magnet link has like all the episodes in a bundled option, you know. That solves that. I hit enter and I wait for cedars if there exist. 
yeah there is seeders good <coughs> and i can see the episode just started uh, i should be muting the audio but as you can see the video is playing that is basically nyaflex now i'm going to go line by line and uh, teach you what it is because because you know it's kind of like an inspiration i am not a programmer so if i am able to do something like that i'm pretty sure you guys are more brilliant and you should be able to do something cooler than this so it's kind of inspirational just like netflix was also inspirational so what i did was first of all i took well i can just curl that website right and as you can see that this is a whole html uh, but we don't really need every single thing but we are going to save this as an html somewhere so i just thought it would be nice to have it in config for some random reason i could just change this to slash temp which is a better place to for the thing but for the time being it's in config uh <clears throat> i will change that to temp later uh then is this a um is a search query you know this is the this is a search query which is basically the um dollar star means all the things that you type like if, if i type in yako and then change so man and then whatever else that i am trying to type all of that will get inputted that's basically it and we change the spaces to plus so that it can be passed on the website and then we do a curl to get that website data as just like this see you do a curl and then you give it that chainsaw man name and it gives you that list you know that list is inside this html inside this html and then we need to get the names that's the whole part like this is all for finding that name so we or have we have already saved the file into a i mean save the website data into a file we're going to cat that file out and then we'll search for this line which is in, which, which is in, interesting because i spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to get this uh, let's use less so that you can see and so let's search for a h r f what was it again oh oh h r f equal to slash view okay as you can see the website title is this i mean the the site titles that we want of the shows were here uh like chains of man episode 12 yara 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 it all starts with this ahr view equal to some random number so i took that gave it hyphen p which is a flag so that it can accept perl <coughs> like syntax i yeah perl like uh glob matching kind of so p is for that it's kind of useful so which we can give shit like this which i've used in assembly it's pretty cool and some other places it does have this kind of <clears throat> of a feature we are view and then we give it what the attributes will be you know it should be number so it should be 0 to 9 and then the star is for like find everything that goes after view and is a number <clears throat> and we get basically all of these titles i can show you that as well i think i have that uh yep i have it in my history if i hit enter and yeah that is all the names on all the pages we don't want every single one <clears throat> we just want like the first 10 or something like that so that's why we gave it the head flag uh, i mean the head command to cut it to the first 15 of them <clears throat> so we have the first 
uh, of the of the link. What the hell happened over here? <laughs> I just wanted to misbehave for some reason. Anyway, we were at our uh, we were at head, and then if I open this up, you can see that everything is inside some tags and stuff and i was looking at it and i understood that if i cut everything with the with the delimiter for double quotes i can get um something like this if you see look at this this title there is double quotes here then there is the name and then the next thing is double quotes over here etc etc I can slice this title into multiple pieces based on that. I can show you that as well. I can cut and take the fourth one when it's basically the names. This is exactly what I want. Now I want to be able to select a name from it. So I'm going to pass that to the FZF, which is a fuzzy finder, but I use it as a menu. A lot of people also use fuzzy finders as menus, pretty useful thing. You could also give it Wofi, but that will be a graphical thing like Wofi hyphen hyphen D menu will give you that in this Wofi and Rofi and everything will works like the same thing. But I want to keep it inside the terminal, so it became FCF, and now I have that names. So if I hit something like episode 3, I get just the name. Now I know what I want to watch. That's the first line that I just, so I just showed you. This line. This line is basically to find the name. And then the second one is to find the magnet link. We have already got the name. So the only thing that remains is, well, search for the name in the same file and the magnet link should be next to it. So I can do curl instead of grabbing that i am going to grab hyphen a four i will show you what that is in a few minutes oh shit now i have to get that name which is also annoying maybe i uh, this is easier if you don't do that I'll just cut this off. This is easier to explain. <clears throat> if I take this and uh, search for the title and I get something like this, right? So if I search exactly for the this title using on the same file, I should be available i i should be somewhere near here right and just below it is the magnet link that's that's this line that you can see so what you want is if you search using grep you will only get this line well it is useless if you are only getting this line because what you actually want is the lines below it that's where i spend at least four hours trying to figure out what and how it is done just realized that I should have read the man page and found it like that. Uh, also, there was like issues with the names, you know, how the names have like the brackets and hyphens and everything. And that freaks out the um, grep. Because grep uses re regular expressions and brackets and all of those are part of regular expressions so it is a bit of a pain to parse this and guess what hyphen f is a flag that you can use to get rid of all the regular expression bullshit and you just search word by word for this thing the thing you want to search so we got the name here we search that word by word using the f flag and we will get pretty much this line this line is what you are going to get this whole line will be available as an output but we want the lines below it <clears throat> that's where this flag 
called a helps with uh, a and b both of flags to get things from below and above i don't know why it's a b a, a and b instead of man grep as you can see a stands i mean that is not it wait there should be well i can just do hyphen a oh it's called after and before okay i thought it was above and be below because you know a and b but then it was switched because a is below and b is above which made no sense that's why a is for after context so if you search for something and you want something below it you use a and if you want something before it you want b so i use that and i gave it four so what happens is that i'll get this line that i i searched for but i'll also get four other lines on the bottom or below it which happens to also have the magnet link now we have the magnet link uh in the output that this you know command is going to give it uh, i mean what this command is going to get what am i trying to say i will get the magnet link as part of the ht uh, html that we just um, got from this grep command and we use grep again and this time we search for magnet <laughs> so we get the magnet link and then we cut that into a piece where it is usable and we feed that to pflex that's basically all it is so what you see is pflex gets a like pflex and then you give it a magnet link do i have an example nope but i think i can show that in a second echo magnet and then if i search again should be just wait i can also just that's a bug that i'm trying to fix later uh wl copy that should also just keep that in my clipboard which will which will be nicer so if i search for the same thing again <coughs> and i want to search for 12th episode i will get this as as the output this is the thing that i want i can just paste that here and i hit enter oh sorry there is issues with you know having ampersand and stuff like that inside the magnet link so why am i doing that i can just do shift i and then go here yeah so i just put it in double double code so that it doesn't freak out after that no the thing peer flex takes over and you can basically watch that thing whatever you clicked so that is basically the script and it's not really that hard the only thing you had to do was just parse the html and figure out what is where and where it is situated and how you could take that part of that html that's pretty much it you have to use your brain a bit but it is fun it took me two days but <laughs> that's just me so that's basically the whole script i think it was educational to some people uh i want more people like more people to make scripts like that and you know post them online or something like that it would be cool also comment below if you have a script like that that you want to showcase that will be really cool as well that's basically it for this video i'll see you guys i will see you guys in another video